Pets United is about a stray dog that is looking for a new home after his is destroyed and rescues a group of abandoned pets and tries to save the city from evil robots, all while trying to find out what happened to his owner. And that's just the half of it. Yeah, this movie's a lot. It opens in Robot City with our main character Roger, Sheriff Bill, and the Ferris Wheel, which I guess will be important later since they brought it up now. And this city has robot police and cars that manage the city, so it's basically iRobot. And Roger does this really annoying laugh <laughs> throughout the entire movie. But Roger breaks into this apartment to steal some food, and for some reason he gets really worried about this cat waking up from a falling chicken leg, even though she didn't wake up when he growled in her face a minute ago. And there's also this really unnecessary slow-mo, which happens way too often. But the cat does wake up, and this woman comes home, and... What was that transition? Since that failed, Roger goes to the grocery store to steal some more food, but Bill finds him. And after a chase, Bill's head falls off for the first time. Notice how I said first time, because it happens way too often. So he takes the food back and gives it out to the other strays, and what is that thing? Seriously, I don't know what this is supposed to be. But he ends up having no place in this movie because he just comes and goes at random. Seriously, does anyone know what he's even supposed to be? Then we meet a robot named Bob, who's only here so they can make an excuse to add a subplot later. Then we're introduced to the entire group of spoiled pets. Notice how I didn't say any of their names? That's because there's like 10 of them and they're all in this entire movie and I can't be bothered to remember all their names. Why does this movie have so many characters? And the mayor, who doesn't instantly look like a villain at all. Then Bill uses this bulldozer to knock down the building, because that's how you do that, and then his head comes off for the second time. His head comes off a total of six times, by the way. So during the next chase scene, Roger and Bob go off a ramp, and we get a good look at this nightmare child. What is with this movie's animation? It's like I can tell that they really tried, but it's just some of the characters look half decent, but others just don't. For example, why does this red panda look ten times better than any of the human characters? And this cat looks okay, but this pig just looks horrifying. And whenever there's a flying animation, it's like gravity doesn't affect most things, but it does when they need it to. But then the mayor comes back on TV and basically tells the city that humans suck and they need to get out. And to show he's serious, the ferris wheel turns... <laughs> turns into a giant spider creature, and honestly, this isn't even close to the worst part of the movie. And then the poodle just watches his owner die because she just stands there like a moron instead of running away like everyone else. Okay, I'm gonna talk about this lady for a second. So earlier in the movie, it showed that she is obsessed with her cat and just pampers it constantly and can't live without it. But then, while she's leaving the city, she just kind of goes, Am I forgetting something? Oh no! My cat I'm obsessed with! And then, she's never seen again. Then all the humans leave, and the robots are left to run the city. So, basically Wally. -E. I swear, the creators had ideas for like, three movies but only had the budget to do one, so they just decided to cram them all into one movie. Once they get outside, the red panda decides he's gonna 
stand up to the spider robot and just dies. Like, he just dies. <laughs> Slomo sacrificed himself for us. No, he didn't. He saved our lives. No, he freaking didn't. <laughs> the only reason any of them are still alive is because this spider thing decided to leave after he smashed the panda. Anyway, so then they go to the zoo for no reason other than to pad the runtime and introduce the hyena, lizard, and tiger who have no purpose in this movie and then for some random reason we get this terrible song. We are clever, we are smart, we have no mercy and no heart. But I can't figure out why. There's seriously no other original songs in this movie. Good god, we're only halfway through this movie. Well, they go to the cat's apartment and get attacked by her robots. So they run away and get on a train, but just leave these two behind. But it's okay, because they're able to keep up with the train on a skateboard. Everything just kind of works itself out. But the mayor takes over the train and runs it off the rails with more unnecessary slow-mo and they should all be dead. But they're not so they go to the mall and then these three show up for no reason. There's so much going on and yet at the same time nothing important happens throughout this entire movie. I swear, I'm trying to make this make sense, but it's so hard with how much random plot points and events just happen, and yet nothing ever happens. It's so hard to keep track of. But anyway, so then they get attacked by more robots, and why does this kick send this robot into space? Whatever. And then they just leave these three to die. And Bob finally realizes that the mayor is only after them because he wants to scrap him. I have no clue what's going on. Yeah, I haven't either for the past hour. So for some damn reason, these three come back just to sing their song again. And it's revealed that the mayor was actually a robot this entire time and is holding the real mayor hostage, which is pretty predictable, but yet it just comes out of nowhere and is just forced into the movie. This movie is like watching a child's fever dream. And Ultron here just decides he hates the sheriff because he has the same symbol or something. So he decides he's gonna go join the gang of strays. And Bob's about to get crushed and Roger tries to save him but can't because the belt is magnetic or something. So he just decides he's gonna die with him. He just met this thing the night before. Why am I doing this to myself? But then the rest of the group comes and try to rescue him, but they manage to do it because no, no, and no. Thank you, Belle, Walter, Ronaldo, <laughs> Sophie. Well, I'm sure glad they had him say all the names because I sure as hell couldn't remember them. Then the spider robot comes back and gets tricked into grabbing the magnetic belt. So let me get this straight. A pig, pug, cat, and poodle can stop this belt, but yet a two-ton robot can't. We understand the logic of this movie? Cool. So they rescue the real mayor, and it turns out he was Roger's owner, which who could have guessed that based on the obvious hints they've been showing. Why does removing this symbol turn him off? Then they go to the wall, and why did they let him build this wall? And it turns out the red panda isn't dead, he just ran away real fast. Another happier world? Yes, Roger. Wait, did he just understand the dog? This movie is the most exhausting kids movie I have ever ever seen. It has way too many characters, way too many subplots, and way too much filler between them. 
The voice acting is just bad and annoying half the time. The animation looks like they really did try. It's not awful, but some of it just looks creepy. I have never seen a movie that it's so fast paced, but yet this movie seems so slow. It's only an hour and a half long, but yet I had to cut so much out of this video just to make it manageable. I had such a hard time trying to summarize this movie. Don't forget to do the YouTube stuff, and thanks for watching.